Would you please welcome Lloyd? Hello. Hello. Uh, welcome back to the show. Last Thank time you. you were on, of course, uh, your debut album was exploding, and since then, a couple of Grammys. You worked on movie soundtracks. You just released a new album. This is out of control now. Be honest with us. Have you changed? Well, I think that I maybe. I'm like a 5% prettier, I would <laughs> estimate. But apart from that, um, I think I'm still like a giant loser. So it's all good, really. <laughs> now, the new album is called Melodrama, but aren't your 20s meant to be a bit less dramatic than your teens? This does not sound any less dramatic. It's wild. No, it was definitely much more dramatic. I don't know. I feel like I was like quite cool as a teen or was like trying to kind of keep my cool and then I hit um, like 19, 20 and just went insane um, in a very like feminine way I feel. I was like hysterical and having meltdowns and crying and it was amazing. <laughs> it's a pretty remarkable situation you're in now though releasing a new album because your debut, I mean this is one of the biggest debuts we've seen in recent history and then to have to follow up on that, how do you feel that pressure when you're trying to create something new? Oh man, I mean, I definitely felt it and I felt um, very aware of, you know, all of these people who had invested time and money and love into me and wanting to, you know, give them something nice and kind of special to listen to after all that time. Um, and I guess that is why it took the time that it took, you know, I just, every detail was like, it's just pressure cooked by me until it was you know, as good as it could be. Was there even a moment along that journey where you kind of wished your debut song was not quite so massively <laughs> successful? Uh, no, I'm very grateful for Royals. It's um, strange to have a song that does that and strange as well when you are a weirdo like me and not everything you make forever is going to be just like big and ridiculous but uh, no I'm very grateful for it and it's the kind of thing that I'm like quite proud of little me you know 15 year old me for writing that I'm like oh that was that was pretty cool. <laughs> Lord I've been listening to your album all week and I'm particularly drawn to the track Liability. It stopped me and it really hit me. I just oh. think it's the most exquisite piece of songwriting. Who, who is you. the song about? It's, it's kind of not really about anyone, it's about me um, and just like feeling the pressure of, of, of people finding it difficult to be friends with me or to be close to me. Um, it was very much a product of me like sitting alone in taxis and alone in my living room um, and working out how to be my own best mate really. Um, <laughs> let's get down to the serious stuff. You have been living a double life. What can you tell us about the Instagram account uh, Onion Rings Worldwide? <laughs> oh my goodness me. I got rumbled for my Onion Ring account. <laughs> I mean, I'm just quite passionate about onion rings. They're so delicious and I just thought it would be like a fun thing to do to go around reviewing onion rings from different places but then everyone found out about it and I was like oh, I gotta I gotta end this while I'm ahead I think but it was a fun uh, a fun four posts <laughs> I continue to review onion rings in my mind now look going back to Royals for a minute again I think we've all heard the story of you giving that song away for free online you recorded it in your school holidays you were exceptionally young do you think then that's a very brave move to give your first track away for free do you think we're bravest when we're younger I think in some ways I was really brave when I was 15 and I think in other ways I've never been braver than I am now. I think um, everyone, a lot of people have said to me about this album uh, sort of how emotionally like laid bare it is and I think that sort of bravery I don't know if I necessarily had five years ago but um, yeah I definitely, I, it was cool I remember you know doing it all at that age and just not caring about offending anyone or, you know, I was just yeah. like, nah, nah, nah. Well, if you're still brave enough to release the new album free of charge online, I'm sure the world will be very interested. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I will work on that. I bet, the, uh, yeah, yeah. I bet the record company will be pumped. Yeah. Oh, it's a journey and development and all that, I understand. Um, can I talk to you about David Bowie, please?
Uh, this is, I mean, firstly, congratulations oh. on your tribute performance at the Brit Awards and Life on Mars, possibly the greatest Thank Bowie you. song ever. But the fact that he was such a fan of you, oh, I mean, to have someone like that dub you the future of music, I cannot comprehend how that must feel. Is there any way you can help us understand that? I mean, I don't really understand it, to be honest with you. I, uh, I feel very um, lucky, you know, that I even... Um, was that alive at the same time as him? I feel it just it feels like this sort of magical um, moment or something that we all got to witness him be who he was. Um, you know, for me, I found that just knowing that this person had maybe listened to a couple of my songs or was aware of me helped me to kind of continue to keep making like really strong work. Now, Lord, you turn 21 in November. You're a proud Scorpio. What are your party plans? Any plans brewing? I, I think I'm going to have to commit to drinking a yardie. I think I'm not going to be let out of that one. You got it. Here's a question. Do I have to put beer in the yardie or can I put like a... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think put, so. like, a whiskey put sour beer in the yardie. No, I don't drink work? beer either, Ella, so whatever you like. I think <laughs> oh, a massive champagne yardie. Can I yeah. put wine in the yardie? Yeah, don't <laughs> make oh. wine. No, I think you'll die if you put wine in there. <laughs> and don't go too quickly. Just, you've, got to watch for the, you've got to watch for the kick of air that makes it all spill all over right. you. Okay. Yeah, pacing is key. <laughs> OK, thanks. <laughs> well, Lord's new album, Melodrama, is out, Lord. <laughs> Thank you. How do you think your daddy did, huh? He totally blew it. That game's so oh, easy. No, oh, it's not easy. It's a hard I'm game. I'm my other father. Oh, the other father. You have two daddies? Yeah. One, two? He's just my f***. <laughs>